What's up, everybody? Thanks for checking in with Cali. Please like, subscribe if you haven't. So, I mean, for the Clippers to start out this season three and seven to end up now being the number one seed has got to be the craziest thing I think I've seen from any Clippers team that's ever been assembled, especially, you know, throughout the last, I'd say, 10 plus years you know Clippers teams have been good they've been solid they've been you know um you know a team that definitely gave the Lakers a lot of problems but not a team that's really ever been a threat for a championship like this one of com uh, completely specifically with Kawhi Leonard playing at the highest level uh one of the best seasons one of his best seasons actually as an NBA player not just you know as a Clipper so I mean it's it's uh it's a lot of things good around this team surrounding this team totality and then when you have James Harden you know playing at the level he He's playing, uh, you know, averaging, you know, uh, not as much points as he used to. But I mean, when called upon his number, he definitely steps up and shows that he's, you know, still could be James Harden's at James Harden at times. And that's probably the biggest uh, thing that James Harden had to endure the last several years is because during the playoffs, a lot of people said he choked, things like that. But, you know, I was one of the ones that criticized him as well. But I mean, him being on a team where he can just show up at times and be the guy at times instead of being the guy every single night. It definitely um, helps him, you know, with his game longevity wise. And I think he'll be able to contribute with the Clippers going into the playoffs along with everybody else on the team. And especially if Kawhi keeps playing at the high level that he's playing at, I mean, everybody else will just fall right in the line. I mean, PG, you know, Harden and Russell Westbrook also. I mean, this team looks like they're really dialed in and they're really, you know, locked in, you know, in trying to get a championship and in route to doing that. Everything seems to be going pretty well for this team. And they finally got that number one seed and hopefully they can sustain it. You know, it's going to be tough. It's not going to be easy. But the fact that the Clippers actually reached that mountain means a whole lot. And now that I'm hearing Kawhi name in the MVP conversation, which I think it should have been way before now, based upon, you know, what he what he's been doing, you know, these last several months. I mean, it's incredible. I mean, uh, he may not have the 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 great numbers that some players have 35 points average per game or 29 points or 30, you know, however many points per game, but he's still averaging 25 points a game shooting. At, I mean, uh, the most efficiency I think I've ever seen a player shoot. I mean, the guy is shooting 55 percent. I mean, I think this month from three from the two pointer and like 93 percent from the, the free throw line. I mean, we haven't seen a 50, 50, 90 like ever. I mean, I mean, I think we have maybe once, but more likely not ever. So it's like even to to even shoot those type of astronomical numbers, it just lets you know how great Kawhi Leonard is and how much more we need to you know appreciate his greatness by giving him his flowers in regards to what he's being able to do with this team and don't get me wrong you know having having James Harden and and Paul George along with Russ I mean that definitely boosts him up a lot more but I mean it still is a testament to his greatness of what he can do for a team when he's the number one option and when he's just one of the options on the team that you might need to step up and be the best player and then he's definitely showing us once again as he does every year every time he's on the floor why he's a top player top two top three player in the league when healthy so I love what I'm seeing from this team. I love the chemistry. I love the camaraderie. And I just pray that I really just hope and pray that they just stay healthy, man, because that's the, really the only thing that can hold them back at this point. I think every team in the West should really be weary of this team because this team really has something that other teams don't. They got four Hall of Famers that are locked in. And when you got guys that are locked in along with the role players that's surrounding them that's locked in with a coach like Ty Lu, who's really trying to understand his players and understand and what makes them tick and put him in the best positions they could be in well I mean you have a recipe for success and I think that um, the Clippers definitely have that recipe for success all they have to do is just you know stay healthy and see how far it takes them I mean as far as Kawhi I'd love to see him win an MVP um, I think they would they're going to try to find every reason not to give him the MVP if you ask me but I mean based upon the numbers and what he's doing they might not be able to, den to deny him if the Clippers stay in first place and keep winning this team has won what 25 
26 out of the last 31 games. I mean, that's incredible. I mean, we haven't seen a run like that in a long time, probably maybe dating back to the Lakers or maybe, you know, with Shaq and Kobe or like Jordan days or something like that. So, I mean, that's just incredible all on its own. And I just, you know, hope that the Clippers, you know, keep keep it going, you know, and um, everybody doubted this team. And I was one of the ones that was shaky about it, too, you know, when James Harden came. But, you know, James Harden said this team is going to be scary when they figured it out. And we got to give James Harden some credit. You know, he said it. He lived up to it and they're living up to it. And um, they're really scaring the NBA as far as like anybody trying to intervene what they're doing. Because when you see them in a seven game series in the playoffs, if they're all healthy, I don't know what team would actually feel comfortable going up against the Clippers because you just don't know any given night. One of them could just go off. I mean, Paul George can drop 40. Kawhi can drop 40. James Harden can drop 40. Uh, Russell Westbrook can still have a big night, even though he's, you know, coming off the bench now. But we've seen him have a couple big nights a few weeks ago. So, I mean, he's still capable of having a big night so it's like and then the role players they have around them you know and with the with the size and the paint and you know you got Norman Powell that's just a walking bucket I mean it's just it's so much that they have built around them like you would really be it, it, you really have to you know pull out your playbook and make some huge adjustments to try to even be on the same floor with them because like I said the way they're playing is just it's just astronomical the way they're playing and like I said you can look at a lot of other teams you can look at a lot of other players more than an MVP than Kawhi but I mean honestly if Kawhi keeps playing at this level if the Clippers keep playing the level that they're playing at you won't be able to deny them and like I say when the playoff come of course we'll see you know more so um exactly you know how they will you know pan out and what they'll be but um right now we've got to say the Clippers have been impressive more than impressive and I think everybody you know definitely who has been a naysayer towards them owe them an apology at least up until this point because they hooping they playing and they playing their hearts out and I Honestly, you know, Kawhi and PG playing every game and being accountable for this uh, season and taking the regular season serious, it, it, it's, it's all working out. And it's working out to the good for this team. And uh, like I said, right now, they're the best team in the NBA, no doubt. So anybody that says anything different, they're just a hater because, um, honestly, the Clippers look like they're not only the best team, but they look like they'll be hoisting up that trophy if they stay healthy.